Hello, my name is Arvan Omleshi, and today I will be covering the basics of hypertext markup language, or more commonly referred to as HTML. Essentially, HTML is used to create web pages in the form of consecutive elements ordered in a series. HTML elements always have two components, tags and attributes. The layout for any HTML element is always start tag, information, and close tag. So we can visualize this by writing a comment. There are many different types of specific tags, such as the button tag. You can see it here. There are many specific tags, so I would recommend individually viewing a whole list of them and practicing using them with your own code, such as this website here. You can just go over individual tags like this, and there's an example, and just practice it within your own code. Certain HTML tags are crucial when constructing the overall layout of an HTML page. Doc type HTML is a tag that determines the language type. The HTML tag here determines the code that is going to be written in HTML. All of this. The head contains information for browsers and crawlers, and inside the head are the tags title, meta, and link. Title obviously defines the page name. Meta defines information about the web page, and link determines what relations the HTML page has with external assets. Lastly, the body tag is for the web page's content. One very important type of tags are divs. The div tag creates a section in the HTML code like a folder, as shown here. So there's an open tag and then the close tag. Moving on, HTML attributes are what is inside the start and ending tags and details valuable information to the element. The format for an HTML attribute is opening tag equals whatever information. So like this. All HTML attributes depend on whatever HTML tag that they are within, so there are a plethora of specific attributes. While you do not need to memorize all of them, it is helpful to practice the usage of the most common attributes. For reference, use this website to gloss over commonly used attributes. For an example, if you want to have an HTML element that is a picture of a cat, we can do the following. And let's have it in the div. So this is the tag, and this is the attribute. And we can do this if we had the corresponding file here. Two specific attributes that are absolutely essential to know are the attributes ID and class. First, the ID attribute assigns a specific ID for any HTML element that can be referred in, in both JS and CSS. For example, we can give the ID cat to the image element we just made, and this gives us many options later, such as the ability to style how the image is presented through CSS or even modified through JS. Just like that. On the other hand, the class attribute assigns a specific class name to HTML elements. In a way, the class attribute works identically to an ID attribute, except for it being a category ID rather than a specific ID. This gives us the ability to refer to a whole bunch of elements through one class that makes styling in CSS and modifying in JS so simple. For example, we can give the div we created earlier the class name folder, and all the elements inside the div can be styled identically through CSS.
that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to practice all of this within your own code.